Here we have verse 1 of chapter 13 of the Gospel of John in which we are being introduced to that scene in which Jesus engages in the foot washing ceremony with respect to his disciples. And John introduces it here beginning in verse 1, pro, which is a preposition, takes the genitive, means before, uh, very much as the English uh, prepos or, uh, prefix pro would mean something like that, the postpositive da. But before, then taste, the genitive, singular, um, feminine, article, before the, and then he or taste, the feminine noun, which means feast, the genitive here, so before the feast, and then to, the masculine uh, article, genitive, to pasca. Uh, pasca is uh, a neuter, actually. Two can go for either uh, neuter or uh, masculine, so the neuter in this case, to pasca, the Passover. So before the feast of the Passover, and then eidos, from edo, uh, which means I know, this is the perfect active participle, masculine, singular nominative, so it goes along with the subject of the sentence, which in this case is Jesus. So the um, um, aorist participle, action, or actually the perfect participle, action preceding and continuing into the present situation. So before the feast of the Passover, Jesus having known and continuing to know is the idea, ho Jesus, knowing, hoti, Conjunction, here it means that, that eilthen, from erkamai, I come, this is the third person singular, aorist active indicative, that it came, and then out to, put up front to give it a special emphasis, could have gone behind, hey hora, his hour, but it's here, uh, the of him hour would be the idea. Uh, hey, the <coughs> article, uh, nominative singular, hey hora, the hour this uh, feminine noun from which we get the word hour. So Jesus, uh, knowing that his hour uh, had come or arrived, uh, hina, uh, this conjunction takes the uh, subjunctive typically, and that's what we have here, hina, matabe. This is from matabino, means I, or to transfer away, to actually go away or to uh, go to a different situation. Uh, in this case, it's the uh, third person singular aorist active subjunctive. So knowing that uh, going away or the, the uh, going away ek to cosmu out of the world, uh, so the hour had come for him to be taken away or go away out of tutu, this cosmu world. Uh, pros preposition takes the accusative ton patera to the father. So uh, before the feast of the Passover, Jesus uh, knowing and continuing to know that the hour had come in which he's going to be taken to a different place, go to a different place, out of this world, to the Father. And then agapasas, again another participle. Uh, so it's uh, really going in parallel with having known and then having loved would be the idea. Again, this is the, mass, uh, the aorist active participle, masculine, singular, nominative, once again belonging to the subject of the sentence, Jesus. So having known and having loved, tus idius, idius, uh, the um, adjective which means one's own. This is the plural, accusative, masculine. So having loved the of him ones or his own, tus, Again, uh, going along in apposition with it, tus in to cosmo, the in the world. So having loved those who belong to him from in the world, <clears throat> and then the uh, principal verb here, agapasin, third person singular, aorist active uh, in, in indicative, uh, loved uh, them autus eis telos, unto the end, to right to the bitter end, you might say, would be the idea of it. So. A uh, rather lengthy sentence, uh, which is inst instead uh, simply communicating that uh, now that the hour is arriving, Jesus knew that the hour was here. Uh, he had known the hour had arrived, and he had also loved those who belonged to him and was going to continue loving them right to the very end. And, of course, uh, along with them, all of those who belong to him through the testimony of these who were his followers and disciples and apostles.